Any questions before we start? Everybody's having fun with coursework. One. The due date was last Friday. Oh, there's a submission link on Moodle now to coursework one. So you can, uh, it's open for submissions. It's a Microsoft form, so you fill out a Microsoft form. It asks you for your name, uh, your student number, the DOI of the paper you're submitting, and the author that's from the University of Nottingham on there, just so you know, in there. And of course, the URL. You can put all the authors that are at the university. Yeah. yeah. At least one of them should be from the university. Question? Does allow multiple submissions. Yes. It so does. you still will uh, take a look at the last one, right? Yes, we will take a look at the last one. If you do submit multiple times, uh, just make sure we assess the right one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Other questions? Please don't abuse the multiple submission. Uh, <laughs> and submit like 10 times or something. Yeah. Any other questions? I have a, I have a suggestion, by the way. I should have suggested this earlier. Some people have asked me for help with their research papers, and, and I looked at the research papers, and I, and I tried to extract the concept and those sorts of things. Really, if you so, somebody showed me a really, really difficult paper last Friday, and I was, I, I wouldn't say I was struggling to get the information out of it, but it took me, like it was, it was not easy for me. So, feel free to look at um, like four or five different research papers. You don't have to, like, choose the most difficult one. Right? You can look at any number you want and then say, oh, this one looks more understandable than this one, so I will summarize this one, which is more understandable. Right? You don't have to choose the most difficult, uh, strangest research paper. Right? Some are more understandable than others. And some are more clear than others, some are more well-written than others, some have more nice figures than others. Question? Uh, were we going to tip to like a range of when the paper should be from? The goal, the, the goal is that one of the authors should be currently working in the School of Computer Science. So as long as that's true, it should be fine. So the paper from like 2010? That's fine, yeah, yeah, as long as one of the, do you guys understand one of the goals of this exercise is that you become familiar with the staff's work, because you're trying to choose a supervisor, right? That's part, that's all connected. And somebody fooled me, and they said, is this paper okay? And both of the authors were not affiliated with the school at the time, it was published in like 2015, but now they are, and I was like, oh, okay. So maybe, it, you know, when you submit it and you're putting the authors from the university down, you might put a note that says, by the way, they weren't employed at the university in 2016 when this paper was published. 
you know, just to give me a heads up. Yeah. Other questions?